Hello friends, my name is Kailash Sharma and in this video we will see how you can make use of Power Query to split data. So here we have an Excel file where there are certain columns like employee ID, name, department and country. So the very first thing which I wanted to do was to split this name uh, column into two. So as you can see it has got first name and last name and I wanted to split this. So let's see how we can do this. For that uh, what we will do is it's a normal Excel data. So first we will do is we will convert this into a table. So we will go into insert and table and convert this range into a table. Now we will go into data and from there we will click on from table and range. This should take this as a data source for the power query. So now it should open the query editor and you can see it has also loaded the data. Now our ask was to convert this or split this data into two columns. So let's do that. We'll click on this and we will click on this split column. So here there are multiple options which are there and if you see the trend there is a space in between the first name and last name. So for that we will use delimiter. Delimiter is basically it will tell uh, it will give you an option that on what basis you want to split the column. So here we will say uh, select the delimiter as space. If you have any other character that also you can select. So here space is correctly it has identified and it's saying split add. There are three options that if let's say it has got two spaces then where it will do? Should it take it from the left? Should it take it from the right? Or each space it should uh, convert into separate column. So let's say my data in a way is that after the first name if there are more than one spaces after that in the last name it can have more than uh, one names words also so I will select this there are advanced options which are available like split into column or row uh, column and row means like when you split will it the splitted value will become a column or a row so if you select row and if this brings the first name and last name it will become two number of rows for the same record so, so column is the correct one for now and let's click on ok so you see that it has converted this first name and last name into two let's cross this and let's see some more options if I close this and close this as well we bring it to the same original position again we will split deliberator this time if we see rows and so you can see same employee ID has repeated twice because the first name is here last name is here and the rest of the columns are repeated like that the second option works so that is one way to uh, convert or split this data and let's say this employee ID also we wanted to split. So how we can do that also. So here if you see the trend the EMP word is there and after that there are few numericals and numeric values are doesn't have any valid or length. So here you can see four digits here you can see five digits so there are differences so how we can do this so we will select this same split delimiter this time there is no we should have not selected ideally because there is no option which tells us that how you want to split so instead of this we should select based on number of characters so we know that EMP the three characters are for sure are available so we will say that after three character split so and how many times it has to split 
specify the number of characters used to split the next which is 3 uh, once as far as left it goes from from left side the first 3 and then as far as it goes so let's click on it and see how it works so do you see EMP has left here and the rest information is here and it has it is able to split okay so let's do the name also again and then we will save the query as well so again left and let's rename few of the columns so this was my first name this is your last name this is employee id and if you don't want uh, let's remove this column there should be option to remove yes it is here so this is how i wanted this data now once it is done click on load and close and it should bring another sheet with the modified data now you can see here first name last name while the original data is stays there as a data source but the refined query data is here that's all in this video thank you very much